Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the SU25. This is not the T version that is free. This is the one that you buy as part of the Flaming Cliffs 3 pack or it can be bought separately. And we're going to be setting up the controls. So this is my first time setting up the controls. Adjust controls. SU25 it's called. We're first going to start with the axis commands. I'm just going to blank out everything it's got here. Start at the bottom of axis command. First thing I should say is that I will show on the screen here my X56 Cytec, which is what I've got, and that will show where each button is that I'm putting on the stick. If you've not got the same stick, but you can more or less emulate what I'm setting by looking at those diagrams. So zoom view, we want an, as an analog axis command. It allows us to zoom and focus on things. It's pretty much impossible to fly without it. I'm going to put it on my left HOTAS. It's a turning knob on the top of the thrust stick, turn that. Okay, this is left HOTAS, this is right HOTAS, so this is the control stick side, this is the thrust lever side, this is a keyboard binding, this is the category that the action is in, and this is the action. There are hundreds of actions, we'll only need about 20 of them set to fly the flame, pro flame properly. Next is thrust. I've got a split thrust stick, so I can split it and do each engine. If you've only got a single one, then just do single ones. Thrust left, move the thrust lever back and forwards, that's right right lever, join them back together, test them. Okay, next rudder, roll and pitch. So we're going to go to the right stick here. For the rudder, you may use pedals. I use the twist on my stick. So I'm going to go right hoe test, twist it left, twist it right. Okay, test it, centralize it. It's a bit wonky at the moment. It's, not, it's an old worn out stick. I'm going to go to axis tune. You would always do an axis tune for that that and that. You can see the red dot is outside the black square. That means I need to dead zone it so that the red dot is in a flat section. It's just something you have to do. Curve is up to you, but I always like to add 25 for my curves most of the time. That gives me a bit more usability around the small areas of movement, less on the big areas of movement. Okay, next is roll. We can double click there, move the stick left, move it right. Okay, test it, centralize it, axis tune, don't need any dead zone, do need some curvature, 25 will do. Pitch, click on it, stick forward, stick back, okay, test it, axis tune, mm, don't really need any dead zone, do need a bit of curvature, that's axis done. Next we're going to go to search for the more binary commands. Let's first just work on the left HOTAS. So the rear left side of the thrust stick, we've got my countermeasure two-way switch, and we're going to set that so type in counter measures we've got chaff and flares the up command of it will be flare the down command of it will be chaff next the turning knob has on top of the thrust stick also has a pushable function to do that we will use it as our launch authority override launch authority launch permission override we're going to press it now and there we go the single binary button on the right hand side of the thrust stick we're, we're going to set as change weapon change whoops weapon and we've got it set there. You see the little grey four-way knobs on the right of the thrust stick? We're going to set them. The upper one is going to be our air brake. So we've got air brake on and air brake off. So air brake on is the down position of that switch. Air brake off is the up position of that switch. The knob below that is going to be our flaps. Flaps up and flaps landing position. So flaps up will be the up position flaps down will be the down position and I think I've accidentally just taped over the air brakes and that's because I must have set the air brakes wrong so let's try that again uh, brakes yes I did because I'm silly well, the upper one should be air brakes let's try that again air brakes off in the is the up position on that and air brakes on is going to be the down position there we go next we need to be able to start the engines from the hotas so start uh, right where's right engine start uh, you can do them together but I like just to be doing them separately so right engine start is going to be uh, what we've got TGL4 on the base okay, forward uh, left engine start is TGL3 forward let's have stop left engine is going to be TGL3 down and right engine stops TGL4 down and they come up with those are the actual uh, button numbers that you'll see coordinated with the pictures. That is the left HOTAS done. Now let's move to the right HOTAS. Let's start with wheel brake. So we've got a trigger at the very bottom front of the control stick. Wheel brake on, 
and that's what I'm going to set as my whoops, wrong column. There we go. That's what I'm going to set as my wheel brake to press and hold. Next one up is a button just behind that at the base of the stick that I will use to unlock. So let's touch unlock, unlock, target unlock. That one there I usually use as my nose wheel steering button, which will which you don't need in this plane, and that will also usually unlock a target. Next is going to be our trigger. Trigger is more like a fire weapon. Fire weapon is going to be the main trigger, needless to say. And in case I get confused, I'm also going to set trigger 2, which would be the weapon release button in other planes as the trigger as well, in case I panic and press the wrong one. Next is going to be target lock. Target lock there. It's going to be what I consider the third trigger. It's a button right at the very top of the stick, as you'll be able to see. That is going to be my target lock there. Next is going to be trim. Trim, we're going to have nose up, a four-way hat switch on the top right of the stick, as you'll be able to see. Up, down, left, right. Next, we want to be able to maneuver up and down our gun sight glass. So we're going to put ASP, raise and lower. And so to lower it, I'm going to have, this is the up and down function of the four-way hat switch at the bottom right of the head of the joystick, which you'll be able to see in a second, as lower and raise. Next, we've got our sensor control switch, which will be our leftmost four-way hat switch on the top of the control stick. Have that if uh, these ones here, in fact. So navigation mode will be, uh, if I can find it, the left contingent. Longitudinal aiming, missile aiming mode, this is the sidewinder basically, or the uh, R73, will be the up contingent. Edge ground will be the right contingent. Uh, we don't want that. We do want cannon as the lower contingent can on. It's just how I have all of my planes set up like this, or the ones that I can. That's both of my sticks done. Now I just need keyboard. Uh, I've got to check. We may already have this set, but that's going to double check I'm going to go to all I'm going to press the U key and that should do laser and it doesn't so let's go and set laser laser and designator uh, whoops I there it's just standard how I'd have all my aircraft like this that have a laser de designator that I want on the keyboard you may want to put this on your hotel and that's fine but I'm just used to having it on the keyboard that's what I would do we now need the target designator the TDC up left and down and right so we can steer our target designator so target designator you can fit this on your joystick if you want i'm going to put it on my keyboard as the arrow keys because that's what i'm used to so down left right up uh, we've also got an ecm so let's just check that it's there i'm leaving it as set to the e key on the keyboard because that's just what i'm used to and then we've got some weapons specific bindings that you may or may not want to set. It's, it's up to you. So if we went down to weapons, we've got down here ripple for dropping bombs, firing rockets. For dropping bombs, we've got ripple interval increase and decrease, <coughs> excuse me, and the ripple quantity select here. If you don't want to use the shortcuts, then we can put them to your HOTAS or different keys. And if you can use the depressible gun pods, gun pod elevation increase and decrease and or decrease or increase. Stepping, so we've got the show. I hope that was useful and see you later.